Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to add payment option in Google Forms. And here is how. This tutorial will take you step by step through exactly what you need to do to get this done. You must first create a form. I will use this example from here. Have you subscribed? I will just change this to services. Maybe we should add prices and a description of the services. For example, we will add a channel review for hundred dollars i am just adding services here obviously you would want to add a payment option and then you could choose to add a channel manager option for let us say two hundred dollars you should go ahead and add your services in a multiple choice format going to the three dots in the upper right corner is what you need to do now from there select get add-ons here we can add the payment option. Additionally, we wish to search via applications for payable forms. Click on Payable Forms to find it here. Payable Forms will let your Google Forms to accept payments like magic. Click the first one to install it. And, as you can see, it is compatible with Google Sheets and Google Forms. Feel free to add this to your account. I am going to do that now. Click Allow. And there you have it. It is now installing. After it installs, you will be prompted to click Get Started. At this point, you can modify the default language, your home country, and your currency. I will change it to USD. Finally, click Looks Good. This will instruct you on how to create your Google Forms. As you can see, you must make a form with the Money option. The text to the left of the money will be used as your line item. This may be used for multiple choice, and I will just demonstrate it for you now. We will click Open this sample form, which will show us what to do. As you can see, all you need to do is enter your price. Anything to the left will then appear in the payment section. Let me create this and demonstrate what to do. Go to your Google Form, close all of the windows, and then select Add-ons, Payable Forms, Configure Payment Settings. This will open. Next, click Auto Configure Form and Shift, which will set that app and connect it to a Google Sheet that you can preview here. This will be the responses. As you can see, I added this in the incorrect way. So I am just going to type channel review here. After that, you need to add a dash, a dollar sign, and the price. You want the price to be on the right and the actual service to be on the left. I have changed that to 100 and 300. After that, you want to connect a payment provider. So click on that. From there, you can select any of these payment providers. I will click on PayPal. And it will connect to this add-on. After that, it will ask me to go into my PayPal account, which I will do right now and approve. This means that we are enabling PayPal to connect to this add-on. And you can see that it will be able to see certain items here. It will only be able to search for your transactions, which is all it can do. So that is good enough for me. Since this is a reliable add-on, we can move on to payable now. Now that it's connected, as you can see, we will close this window and it will check to see if everything is connected. All right, so my PayPal account is now connected. Let us proceed to make this form payable. If you want to change this, click yes. This will then bring up a window where it will examine everything you have typed in and analyze it. So make sure that testing mode is still enabled. After clicking this button, your form will open in preview mode. Let us give it a try. I will enter in an email and select channel review. When we click submit, the channel review cost 100 US dollars. It then states that payments are required at the next step. If users click this, I believe PayPal will be redirected. So I am calculating the total now. Since this is in test mode, it will show you that it is free. However, this is how the receipt will appear when someone completes your form to exit test mode.
Simply, open Payable Forms by selecting Add-ons, Payable Forms, and Configure. Make sure Testing Mode is off and that the currency is set to the actual currency you entered for the price. That should work. I'm having some trouble with it, but we will try it again. Go send and copy this link. Obviously, adding a payment option in Google Forms is not exactly a great solution. But first, let us see if it functions. To do this, enter an email. Click Channel Review for $100 Submit Pay. This link, retype, find my order. And there you go now. It will now ask for 100 US dollars. Once we turn off test mode and everything is operational, all that is left to do is enter contact information here and make a payment using the method I previously added. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.